many now many thought of AI with uh, I think that uh, controversial I mean um, opposite uh, emotions some with excitement but many are fearful about the prospect of AI that AI we replace we replace human intelligence and then the prospect of the labor market will be more and more I mean dark for you know the employers the future employer do you think how uh, the human beings I mean the future employers employees can compete with AI or how they can survive yeah in a world of AI yeah so I think certainly there is area of concern that are legitimate um, so, so if you think about AI as a great means of automation right then it's really a continuation and perhaps even an acceleration of what we've been doing with technology automating a lot of the tasks that human beings that used to be able to do or continue to do um, so with respect to a lot of the uh, automation capabilities that AI represents that could represent you know, that could bring some you know large-scale displacement in terms of the labor labor force on the other hand you know a lot of us believe that there's always going to be a role for a human um, so uh, in the well first of all this will be a gradual transition so we'll, we'll have technology we've dealt with technology transitions for a very long time right and so we'll continue to do that um, uh, AI in the near term when I say near term in this sort of trend we're talking about the next 30 uh, to 50 years uh, will not be able to entirely replace human beings in the areas of things like you know touch emotion you know, high service uh, sort of human relationship uh, so jobs that are more in the service sector that have a high human you know, touch content, I think those will be, in, in fact, increasingly in demand, while a lot of the things that are, uh, for example, manufacturing and so on, will, becoming, will be becoming increasingly automated. So uh, the second major role that we humans will continue to have, and I think what FUV represents, is are those humans that are essentially in control of or teach these AI systems. Uh, these are the machine learning, the... AI data scientists and so on that are in the position to to control design these systems. So I think there will continue to be a role for us in, uh, you know, in, in this AI era. Yeah, it's very interesting. So you see that now in Vietnam, everyone talk about industrial revolution uh, zero, uh, four part zero, talk about AI. That is a popular trend, I yes. mean, popular term in Vietnam. But Actually, what do you think about the uh, the prospect of development of this area in Vietnam, and what are our strengths and yeah. our weaknesses? Right. So I'd like to analogize uh, this development to the, something about 20 uh, years ago, when mobile devices or mobile technology uh, became more prevalent in, in Asia. Um, at the time, Asia didn't really have a tele you know, um, Vietnam in particular did not really have a telephone or copper network, right? And so Vietnam basically just bypassed that network altogether and went directly to mobile technology. So I, I think a similar thing can be thought of in terms of the potential for Vietnam to take advantage of machine learning AI technology in that. Um, so other countries may have gone through the software revolution in terms of providing outsourced software services. Right? And the, the industry gets really large, and there are many global companies today that actually are specialists in that. I think Vietnam has an opportunity and, and really the challenge to really just leapfrog, bypass that, and invest its human resources in this machine learning era directly. And so and that actually is very high value, and I see a lot of potential for uh, human resources here. A lot of young people that are quite aware of computing uh, you know, capabilities and so on are hackers. Uh, they can apply their skills and their ambitions toward this particular technology. Yeah, so you you mentioned about the potential of Vietnamese um, workforce, um, and of course that uh, the Vietnamese students are well known for their excellence in mathematical skills. But do you think that these qualifications are enough to pursue a successful career in this area? Um, so increasingly, academic qualifications alone are not enough, right? Um, I think academic qualifications uh, do serve some fundamental 
uh, knowledge, for example, the foundations that in mathematics and so on that are needed to be very effective in AI research or, or even development. Uh, but I think it needs to be coupled with uh, is a, a clear, solid exposure to industry, right? So for example, what we're doing with my company that we have an office here is that our team members have exposure to global technology, real, real world use cases and so on. And I think a, a combination of practical knowledge combined with that acad academic knowledge is probably the, the, the best combination in terms of preparing young people for today's world. Yeah. So from the personal perspective, what is the most important factor that to help you to be successful in this industry? Hmm. Uh, I see the single most important thing probably is just to be curious, right? Um, I think the, uh, you know, uh, the ability to continue to learn Right, it's not just as a young person, but also as one progresses through one's career, particularly at the age when technology is changing so rapidly, I think is a key to you know present as well as future success. I think identifying the right industries to be in, identifying the right sectors, and so on, so also very important. But I think the ability to learn and adapt rapidly is probably the single most important factor to success in today's world. So if FUV students want to do intern at the company, are you yeah. willing to welcome them? I think absolutely. I think, yeah. uh, you know, given the current shortage of, of machine learning slash AI, you know, expertise you know, among the workforce, uh, there will be a lot of demand, not just from my company, but also lots of companies in the Valley, uh, you know, to bring people in internship. And if they're really good, try to retain them, you know, for permanent employment.